I have just started a, a brief backpacking trip. Yeah, it's, it's not working. Well, I've come to a bit of a block. I'm just not in a good mood today. Today has not gone as um, good as I was hoping. Good morning, everyone. Um, I, I woke up about half an hour ago. It's about 7.30 right now. Um, and I've already taken apart most of my stuff. Just need to fold up the tent. Um, but yeah, I mean, today I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna unfold. Uh, this morning I do wanna go explore a little further up the trail. Um, but there's a good chance that I might just uh, head back all the way to the car um, after that. But um, yeah, because I don't know if I'll be, uh, if I'll stay another night uh, here or not. So uh, we'll see, but I'm hoping to find something up the trail. Um, it does look like there might be a little low cloud and fog in the uh, higher up. And so if we can get up on that hill, then might be able to shoot some foggy forest, but I take down the tent first, which is always a fun process when it's soaking wet. <laughs> Sad to say, this backpacking trip has just been a massive, massive fail. Uh, I just got done running around the steep ravine here in the rainforest, which was, it was a maze of old rotten logs, huge. You step on them and you fall right through, but they're, you know, they're up to your like belly button in height. They're just massive. You know, it's on probably, probably like a 65% grade. It's super steep. And I had my loaded backpack on and camera in my hand and tripod in my other. And oh God, that took a lot. That took a lot of energy. Um, but of course I didn't, I didn't get anything. Didn't even take a photo, didn't even see anything that would, could be a cool photo and the light was beautiful. Um, so yeah, it's just a, it's just a big struggle. It's all that's been. So I've just been debating on whether or not I head back to the car. If I do, and I can get there before, you know, quite a bit before sunset, I might be able to do some coastal photography because it's, it's a beautiful day. It's not too over, it's not overcast at all. And there's clouds in the sky and it looks like tomorrow we'll bring some rain. So there may be some, some nice clouds by the evening and it could get a pretty nice sunset, but. <sighs> I really wanted this uh, backpacking trip to be productive, but it's just, it's one of those things you just can't control. I mean, when you don't see anything, you don't see anything. I'm also all wet from running around down by that 
that stream and I didn't even get any video of it so you're just gonna have to take my word for it unfortunately because it was beautiful but the problem was is around it was so chaotic with you know a bunch of you know leafless sticks and, and um, old rotten logs and it's just it's just no no viewpoints and I, I looked hard and I was running around for a decent amount of time my entire lower section is just wet completely and even my shirt up here is soaking with sweat from from all that uphill and downhill and oof, it's not easy but I think I might just head back I don't really see much point in being out here if I'm not being productive because that's kind of the the point of this and I'm not I'm not really having a great time it's beautiful don't get me wrong but it's just it's just uh yeah I'm just not into it right now <laughs> Um, today I'm trying to start all new again. I just got done cleaning my car. Well, not really cleaning it, but getting it organized. It's just been in shambles for so long. I cleaned up my lenses. Actually, the 14-24, to the Sigma that I'm working on right now. I don't know what's going on with it, but the zoom ring will only zoom from 14 to 16 millimeters, and it stops there. It's all jammed up somewhere, so I've tried to shake it you know knock it out blow air in it. it nothing's working so i think i'll have to eventually take it apart or send it in to get fixed but it's really being a pain in the ass so anyway um yeah i mean i'm, I'm gonna try to make the next couple of days good because it's it's just been fail after fail after fail uh i don't i doubt i'll be uh <laughs> releasing anything <laughs> the failed uh, journey um that I went backpacking uh, yesterday. That was a massive fail. I broke my GoPro. It still works, but the back screen doesn't work. Um, it's all shattered, unfortunately. Um, and this lens is now all screwed up and it's just been, everything's been going wrong. Um, photography has been very unproductive. Video has been unproductive. I'm just in such a, it's just, I need a change. I need a change of pace. So um, today we're going to try to try to make it better. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to go look at that right after filming this clip and um, just hope hope we can capture some things or just even just have a little bit of fun because I've been not having fun. I, that's all I want. Just a little bit of fun, a little bit of enjoyment. I don't even care if I capture anything. Just a little bit of enjoyment. So that's the goal for today. <laughs> It, we're, we're setting a really low bar. We're not going anything anything crazy. We're just setting a super low bar. We're just gonna try to make it over that, and you know maybe increase it as the you know as the week goes on. But um, <sighs> I'm ready to stop failing for a little bit, and I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling my spirits are a little bit better, and um, I did edit a photo last night that I do actually really like. So I'm. I'm feeling a little better. It's just I need to, I need to take the next couple of steps. So that's what we're going to do today, and uh, we'll see what happens. But um, <laughs> I encourage you all to, to come along with me. So, alrighty, let's get started.
Well, I tell you, I just got done photographing this beautiful scene here behind me, and uh, um, it's super close to to the road. I mean, the car's just parked right there. It's on a little forest service road, so it's kind of it's pretty remote. Um, maybe I don't know, maybe roughly five miles on dirt road. Um, and it's just this beautiful little river scene that kind of swirls into the background, and you got the sun shining through. Occasionally, there'll be some mist that rises from the water. And the sun catches that and it creates this, um, well, it, it creates these beams and it's just, it's beautiful. Um, you have a bit of the blue sky reflecting in the water and that uh, mixes with the greens and the yellows and it just creates a very uh, summery and colorful and, and cheerful vibe, almost like a, almost springtime, maybe not so summery, but springtime for sure. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, Wow, it's just a small little scene, you know. It's it's nothing dramatic, but it's it works. You know, you have these the green down here, which acts as a nice frame, uh, frame into the background where you have the river winding and the sunlight and the reflection. And um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, what I captured there. Uh, so so far, so good. <laughs> A lot of time has uh, lapsed since that last clip of the montage that you guys saw and I've just been kind of hanging out reading a book for a little bit and just enjoying the views in the ocean it's absolutely beautiful and, um, right now I'm currently at I believe it's called Rialto Beach uh, here on the Olympic coast and yeah it's it's beautiful um, it's pretty calm as far as the action in the ocean I was here a couple days ago um, just to kind of look at it, scout it out a little bit, and the waves were much, much bigger. But um, today it's it's pretty flat. So um, also another thing, clouds have I don't you can't really see them actually, but the clouds have started to come in, and it's not looking good for any sort of sunset. But I'll stick around uh, because I'm I'm out here and I don't really have much else to do. Um, I've just been kind of enjoying the, the weather. Um, it's not too cold out and it's just, uh, it's nice to be out here, so, but yeah, I've made it up to this little, uh, I don't know, ledge, this peninsula here that goes out, this massive sea stack behind me, and then of course you got the, this little cave down there, which is, could be pretty cool. I think getting down here, which there is a trail to get down there, could be cool because you got those rocks for the foreground. And they kind of lead into that cave and there's another couple sea stacks in the background which could be interesting compositionally so i might go explore that um, here after i record this and still i probably won't take any photos just because i don't the light's not great it's pretty flat there's no drama there's no color um, and so you kind of need that for seascapes i think um, but yeah i might come back here tomorrow Maybe in the morning or um, for sunset. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, it's been a good day.
been a good day, certainly compared to the past couple. So, alrighty, let's go check that out. and uh, tried to find some different compositions and I found some nice ones that I like. Um, unfortunately, the light, it's just, it's unlikely it's gonna do anything unless a huge, huge storm of clouds clears from the horizon in the next uh, 45 minutes, which is not gonna happen. <laughs> but uh, it, it's almost the perfect setting for a, the most spectacular sunset. Um, it's just that right along the horizon, there's just this massive bank of clouds and there's a little bit of a gap between the clouds higher up in the sky and then right on that horizon. And the sun will probably eventually shoot through that gap, but it's not gonna be at sunset and it's not gonna give those colors that you might want. It's gonna mostly be yellow, which is not my favorite color. I like to have a little bit of orange. It's not gonna really be that hot warm light that you would expect from a golden hour. It's, it's too premature. So, um, yeah, I probably won't stick around for that um, just because it's like it's not going to happen. Um, I'm almost certain that it won't, but that's all right because um, I had a good day out here and uh, I uh, found some nice compositions. And also this morning, uh, I forgot, I found that beautiful rainforest scene that river winding through that nice light that was that was pretty nice so I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with how the day has gone and, um, yeah looking forward to tomorrow I'm not sure what is on the plate for tomorrow I might head further north um, here on the peninsula or I might stick in this area and further explore I don't know um, it just it, it, looks like the next like four or five days it's just gonna be rain 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 which kind of sucks but occasionally with that rain 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 you get a couple of pockets of sunlight and sometimes when those are at hours like sunset hours or maybe even sunrise hours you can get some pretty spectacular lights so it's a possibility it's unlikely but it's it's a rare possibility so. this time I lied I decided to stick around for a little bit more and the sun did pop between the thinnest gap. Had light, beautiful light for about five or six minutes and I was just running around trying to find different shapes and textures in the, in the rocks and the sand and trying to use the waves as they come and recede. And uh, yeah, it was pretty hectic. But um, like, I don't know if I got any good shots. That's something I'll have to look at when I get back to the the computer but that was a lot of fun and it was absolutely gorgeous